Welcome to Needles Whatever, tutorials straight and to the point, tips on using the E-Rep custom method. The E-Rep custom method might seem daunting or complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it will become your preferred casting on method. Tip 1. Move your carriage to your right. You always start off with the carriage on your right hand side. Once you have moved it, push out all your needles into the hold position and start your e-wrap. Tip 2. Don't e-wrap too tightly. The tighter you do it, the harder it will be for your carriage to work its way through. You need to leave that little slack after each wrap. I like to hold my thumb slightly pressed between the plastic singers, holding the yarn just slightly lower than the needle. It must not be below the sinkers, I would say halfway between the needle and the actual bottom edge of the plastic sinker. Tip 3. Add weight. You can't work without any weight on your yarn. You need to get your comb and let it slide into the stitches that you just created. You will notice that it will take up alternate stitches and that's okay. Tip 4. Remove the yarn from under your comb. These little extra teeth here should not hold down your slack yarn, just pull it out from underneath it. Bring in any extra slack behind your tension mask and slowly move your carriage to the left. This first row is usually the hardest. Once it is done, you're good to go with your project. Happy knitting!